few days in advance of bleeding the brakes, you'll want to lubricate the bleeder screw with some penetrating oil. That way they're easier to get out. That's right there with that little cover on it. I've already sprayed them once a couple days ago. I'm going to spray them again and we'll let them sit so that when we do our brake job tomorrow, we'll be good to go. We'll do the same on the rest of the corners now. First, before we bleed anything out, we're going to take our vacuum suction and we're going to take the fluid out of the reservoir so that we can fill it with fresh fluid before we start bleeding. Well, we're waiting for the air compressor to recharge. Granted, I didn't do that well on camera so you can hear me, but I'm gonna clean off the screen. Now I've already used a turkey baster a couple times to clean the fluid out and refill the reservoir, but today we're gonna do a full bleed of the system. So now we'll go ahead and refill the reservoir. Now the uh, refill kit does come with, oh this actually sits in here like so, and this clamps to your reservoir and it's got a little valve you can open and close to let fluid in. However, it also comes with this adapter here that actually it's under the thread of the bottle. This goes on like so. Which will allow us to then just use this bottle versus filling this up. So right now, closed. So here's the blader screw. There's a little cover that goes over it. We'll take that off first. There's a little cover. And then there is the fitting. So I'll take our suction holes. So the kit comes with this end here. I put a little bit of silicon grease, dielectric grease actually, on the inside here so we get a good seal. But this just goes up and on here. Alright, so that's on now. All we should have to do is turn this and break it free. Alright, I just took the closed end of the ratcheting wrench I had, the box end wrench, and I broke it just slightly free. Now I'm going to turn it the rest of the way with the bleeder screw attached. Alright, so we got some fluid starting to drip out there. I'm going to open up our vacuum here.
will move clockwise around to the passenger side and take the cover off. We'll put our vacuum hose on. Actually, before I do that, I'll do the same thing I did on the other side. I'll uh, break this loose just. Now I'll open this up a little bit more. You can see some fluid flowing in. And I'll turn on our vacuum. go look up top here I've been actually opening and closing this because uh, it's uh, doesn't hold back with pressure so we'll go and refill the reservoir here and we'll close it back up and we'll move on to the passenger side rear so I hit a slight snag with the passenger side rear. I'm gonna to need to take the wheel off. So I gotta go get the jack out, take the wheel off and clean out the uh, bleeder screw. But I noticed I had a little bit of sediment in here in the reservoir. So I'm gonna go ahead and suck that out here real quick. I changed the tip on the tool, the vacuum tool. I'm gonna try and clean all that out. up the vehicle so that I can get to the bleeder here and for safety I put a jack stand underneath the rear subframe there so now I can get to my bleeder screw here we're gonna take it out I've got a wire brush to help clean it a pick to kind of get the uh, 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 hole for the fluid to come through and then some brushes to clean it here so before I break the bleeder screw loose I went and got a liter measuring cup. I'm just gonna put it underneath here. That'll catch any extra fluid that comes out. So first, I'll take off the cover again. And break it loose. screw. It does uh, it does look like it's plugged. So our bleeder screw here. Put it in this glass cup. I 
I'm gonna spray it with some brake cleaner. All right, so I let it soak for just a little bit here. And now you can see, let's see if I can get it to focus. There, you can see that I'm kind of starting to break through that calcified gunk within the leader screw itself. Now you can kind of see the hole. I'll try and clean it over this way too. I just put it back into soak now that I broke through that so that I get inside the screw. Take a little wire brush here. Let's see if I can squirt some brake clean out of the hole here. Make sure it's not facing at me. So now it's flowing again. Spray here. All right. So now I'll hand thread this back in. Kind of tighten it all the way back down and then we'll ease it back off and do our vacuum bleeding. And judging by our measuring cup here, the fluid is considerably dirtier back here. So I'm going to go get the vacuum bleeder and we'll get it hooked up. Before we get started, I have the uh, reservoir suction hose on, so I'm going to clean this up real quick here. All right, so I've got my suction attachment here for the bleeder screw. We'll go ahead and put that on. And these definitely, or this one, goes on tighter than the front for sure. I don't know if the rears are a different part number or whatever, and the cover is also different too. So, all right, we got that attached. We've got pressure. We'll go ahead and open it up.
empty out and we've made sure the reservoir is refilling it. We're going to put the suction on one last time and use a 10 millimeter and close it back up. With our hose disconnected, we'll go ahead and put the bleeder screw cover back on. And then since we did get some spillage, we're just gonna clean up the area just a little bit. All right, we'll put the wheel back on. star pattern to 80 foot pounds all right now I could probably do it without taking the wheel off uh, just like I did the front two but in all honesty they're already uh, I already have the jack and everything out for it so might as well because I have a feeling we're gonna have to clean this one too so I'm gonna break these loose and then we'll uh, jack it up and put the jack stand under the rear subframe for safety see what we got. Here we can see our bleeder screw. It's been soaking with WD-40 for the last two days, so it should come off, but let's uh, zoom in here. Take the cover off. Uh, yeah, it's got a little schmutz in there. We'll clean that up. I think I'm just gonna take the uh, screw out and we'll just clean it because I have a feeling it's going to be plugged as well. Alright, so again I've got my measuring cup. I'm just going to set below it just in case. And we'll take a 10 millimeter. Crack it loose. Yeah, I don't think we need to take it off. It does appear to be flowing just fine. So in that case then, I will get my vacuum suction. All right, we'll let her rip here. All right, well, I'll do one more suction here. All 
All right, we have the air compressor charged one last time. We're going to get it under full pressure, and then I'm going to go ahead and close off the valve here. So I'm going to preemptively tighten it a little bit. All right. Before we put the wheel back on, just a little bit of cleanup. So I took the filler bottle out of the reservoir. You can still see I got a little bit of sludge in there. I've got a little bit of extra fluid left in my fill bottle. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, suck some of that out. about 64 ounces which that adds up because we used two 32 ounce containers. 